celebrating in the Prime Minister's backyard. Labour descended on Rishi Sunak's Yorkshire constituency after seizing the mayoralty in the region. This isn't an opinion poll. This is the best test, which is whether people go into the ballot box and vote Labour. And they did it. And they did it in York and North Yorkshire. Across the country, Labour were the big winners as the first results were announced, gaining council seats in crucial areas, as well as a new MP in Blackpool. Jubilation only tempered by losses over the party's position on the war in Gaza. But analysis for Sky News suggests Sir Keir Starmer would be short of an overall majority in Westminster if these results were replicated at a general election. Labour is still short of that 326 seats it needs to, to form uh, a majority Labour government. And that tells us a great deal about the scale of the task facing uh, Labour as we near that next general election. Because they did so badly in 2019, uh, they have to make up so much ground uh, to, just to win a very small majority. For the Prime Minister, a visit to the North East as Ben Houchen retained his job as the Tees Valley Mayor, albeit by a smaller margin. It's a rare bit of good news, offering respite for Rishi Sunak. The chances of a backbench move to oust him apparently receding. It's absolutely great to be here with your re-elected Mayor of Teesside. Yeah. Obviously, it's disappointing to lose good, hard-working Conservative councillors, and I'm grateful to them for all their service in local government. Let's make this Conservative government history. These elections also saw smaller parties perform well. In Winchester, the Lib Dems celebrated in their usual eye-catching way. In so many parts of the country, it'll be Conservative MPs worried about Liberal Democrats across the southeast, the Blue Wall, the southwest, in many other parts of the country where we are the challengers of the Conservatives. People know that if you want to get rid of this awful Conservative government and make them history, they should vote Liberal Democrat. Now attention turns to the West Midlands, where the Tory mayor, Andy Street, has been locked in a tight battle with Labour. In London, too, rumours abound that Labour's Sadiq Khan may not have the lead most expected. Months from a general election, Sir Keir Starmer will feel confident about these results, the electoral map continuing to shift. But for Rishi Sunak, this is a further indication about the scale of the battle to come.